The newest Impact Fest character has dropped in the game. Steampunk Aizawa looks absolutely amazing and his kit is actually really, really good. So today I'm going to be showcasing him in PvP or Ultra Arena. We're going to do like an easy, a medium and a hard match and we're going to see how well this guy can perform. Okay, so we are going to start against this team right here. 373,000 battle power for them. That is a fairly easy team to take on. They have an okay character, a Celebration Todoroki, but the rest are like very meh. And so the idea behind this team I built here is I'm going to use Deku for buffing and I'm going to use Aizawa for buffing and we're just going to buff the crap out of Kaminari which is kind of crazy because Deku can give penetrate and then Aizawa can give piercing shot. Kaminari already has bullseye so Kaminari just hits everything regardless of what people try to do which is kind of broken and really insane in my opinion if you ask me. So Aizawa what he does really quickly in case you don't remember on his plus ultra he can cancel five temporary buffs meaning he can get rid of like last stands and stuff and just literally kill somebody if he wants to he restores his hp by 20 percent when it's below 50 percent he gets a last stand three times and he reduces cooldown time of all allies by one which is massive his action skill one is called tailspin kick deals 400 percent damage to a single opponent and decreases the opponent's critical hit rate by 20 percent increases power of all allies by 20 percent and increases skill impact of all allies by 20 percent for three turns when used in a second or later successfully executed skill chain still though that is a damaging skill that buffs your allies and debuffs the enemy so doing all of that in one skill is kind of insane action skill two the best move increases critical hit rate of a single ally by 40 percent for two turns and critical skill impact by 25 percent for two turns and gives the ally piercing shot for two turns Restores HP of all allies 10% relative to the damage dealt for three turns, which is just insane. And then his auto skill one gives stun, binding, and skill seal resistance to all allies. Gives character the ability to make a last stand one time, up to one time. Increases plus ultra gauge of all allies by 30% every three turns. And reduces damage to all allies by 30% when character has the ability to nullify status ailments. And then additionally, skill two gives character the ability to nullify status ailments one time after receiving HP restoration two times. After character receives HP restoration two times, increases power of all allies by 8% for four turns, critical hit rate by 8% for four turns, and critical skill impact by 6% for four turns. Restores HP of all allies by 5% after receiving three attacks from an opponent with critical hit rate down. So, needless to say, running him with a healer supporter like Deku is kind of broken and really insane. So let's go ahead and do this. It doesn't really matter who I target first because Kaminari is going to do the AoE. So I'm going to start off by doing this to give Penetrate uh, to Kaminari. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do skill two actually to increase the critical hit rate of Kaminari and his skill impact as well as give him piercing shots which is OP. And then remember, this skill right here has bullseye. So uh, yeah, no evasion barriers, they don't matter. And they all get paralyzed, beautiful. Yeah, it's, it's a little bit broken. That was one move from one character doing half their health. And dead. Okay, they're all gonna get their skills here. I do think we will still kill one pretty easily. We'll be fine. They're not gonna do any damage to us. Yeah, like no damage. 61,000, just one shot, jeez. Turn three. Let's see how much Aizawa does here. Pretty decent, actually. And then dead. All right, and now we just rinse repeat. So we'll go like this. We're gonna go ahead and buff Kaminari again. And then I think we just win. I could have probably used the other skill Kaminari to do, well, 61,000 damage on an AOE. A little, a little crazy, a little bit, you know, uh, it's kind of a crazy combo. Honestly, the buffs from these two characters just stacked on Kaminari is kind of nuts. I can't lie. All right, we need a team that is going to be a little bit more of a challenge than that. So actually, this is decent. This is a good. This is a good medium team. Four hundred sixty-six thousand seven hundred and thirty-six battle power for us. Four hundred and sixty-six thousand eight hundred and eleven battle power for them. And then we'll take on a hard match after this. All righty. 
I don't it doesn't matter who I target once again we're gonna run it back with the same exact skill set order and notice Deku has evasion but we're gonna have bullseye and pierce so it does not matter and he still gets hit beautiful All right, and now we just go like this. We should be able to uh, paralyze Todoroki, maybe? No, we missed it. Okay, that's fine. Kaminari does still hit through the barrier because he had Pierce right there. All right, now I think we just try to kill Bakugo if we can because he's the one that can like stack and scale and be annoying. He did have a barrier there. All right, let's see how much Aizawa does. Twenty-one thousand, not bad, but he does remove those buffs, which is good. Yeah, we're we're literally so fine. All right, and I bet you this turn we end up actually nuking uh, a little bit here because <laughs> the evasion is not gonna matter. It's so sad. They have evasion and barriers, and we're just gonna hit them anyways. All right, here we go. <laughs> it's so dumb, man, it's so dumb. Seeing Todoroki have evasion and barrier and then still just getting hit for 61,000. It feels so great. Honestly, it's, uh. What were they thinking when they cooked up this character? Honestly, Aizawa is crazy. Aizawa is so crazy, the buffs that he can give. Oh, man. I think being able to give any character you want Pierce is freaking broken. That's nuts. So I just give it to any character that already has Bullseye, and now I have a character with Bullseye and Pierce, and it's kind of crazy. That's honestly one of like the most broken things they've added into this game so far. Alright, now we just get to do it again. Oh, man. I Honestly, this might kill both. We'll see. Here we go. Yeah, 99,000, and then what was that, 67,000? It's so broken, man. Oh, I love it. We'll take a look at the damage numbers, but like, I can't believe it. I can't believe, you don't need Aizawa at level 130 either. Like, you just don't. <laughs> you Level 100 is plenty. Getting one copy of him is plenty. Unless you're worried about speed, I wouldn't even worry about getting a uh, level 130 Aizawa. Look at that, 705,000 damage. From one character, Aizawa does no damage, so literally just getting one copy and you are set. Now I gotta find a team that is like really, really hard. Okay, this team can definitely, definitely, definitely beat me. The main reason being if they are faster, which they most likely will be, right? Because we don't have any speed with this team. Please keep that in mind, we don't have speed. But they do have speed. They have speed down with Compress, they have speed up with Yayurozu, and they do have Bind. If they bind us, that screws us so badly. So. We'll see how this goes, but this is where this is the one place I can say if you wanted to like DX Aizawa, it'd be worth it maybe to have the speed advantage, but even then, I don't know if you could have the speed advantage over a team like this, so like it might not even still be worth it. With that said, let's do this. And this match, I would almost guarantee we lose, but if I'm wrong, I would be happy. I guess it depends on if the bind hits us or not. If the bind doesn't hit us, we'll be okay. All right, so we just, we literally got to just repeat what we've been doing. And, oh man, please don't hit the, don't hit the bind. The buff block could be annoying too. Okay, we reset. Oh yeah, we have bind resist because of Aizawa. Yo, wait, hold up. Hold up. Yo, I completely forgot that. Yo, going second might have actually been good because now yeah, Yurozu didn't nullify the status element and we have speed, we have turn advantage. Hold on. This team is cooking. This team is cooking, guys. Okay. They're still faster. That's crazy. Oh, we didn't get the paralysis. Dang. I was really hoping we would right there. Okay, well, they don't have plus ultra, so that throws them all off. We're, we've already cooked, honestly. He might block buffs here, but, like, I think we'll be okay. Oh, no! The plus ultra from Yayurozu! 
No, she killed Aizawa. No, that's so bad, actually. Because that means now we're missing the piercing shot on Kaminari, and we're not going to do as much damage as I wanted. We had such a good chance, too. Oh, man. Okay, well, let's see what we can do with what's remaining. Aizawa did give us this chance, though, with the bind resist. I want to remind everyone of that. If we didn't have that bind resist, we were cooked. I have a chance. Come on, game. All right. We need... Oh, no, we're slower! We might have lost right here. Without the bind resist. Oh, we got lucky. Okay, we shut down Bakugo so hard, right? We got to Yes, okay, we killed him. Now we got an Najire out here. Uh, honestly, we try to kill Najire. I think that's the move. Okay, good. We resisted that. Paralysis. Beautiful. Oh, she dies for sure. Beautiful. Alright, now we got the team of hiding characters, which is annoying, but that's okay. Alright, penetrate. We draw... No, we don't need to draw aggro yet. And we go for the AoE. Big paralysis. All right, Sue gets her AOE. That's fine. All right, now we go like this. We will draw aggro. Oh, Compress is going to die. We get to evade that. I need to I need to quit unplugging my phone, guys. I accidentally unplugged my phone again. Uh okay, so what do I do here? I guess we just hope that this nuke's compressed, right? Yep, that's our goal. Not enough. No. And that gave him another last stand, so we gotta waste another plus ultra. That's so annoying. Alright. There we go. He's dead. Alright, Sue. We still can't target, which is annoying, but we do have an AoE, so we got that at least. Okay. Sue, we got to evade her. That's beautiful. Yairozu's low. Okay, we should be able to hopefully kill Yairozu. Nice. Oh, we have a chance. We have a chance. We're actually going to win this. Yo, I didn't think there was any way. 100,000 battle power difference. I 100%, even though Aizawa went out early, I 100% attribute that to Aizawa and his ability for the bind resist and everything that he gives at the start. Because if we didn't have that bind resist, it was over for us. But being able to go second after a compressed team is kind of insane. And then we have the AoE with Pierce and the uh, Bullseye as well from Kaminari, thanks to Aizawa putting the Pierce on him. Like, it's, it's, this team is good. This team is actually cooking. So it, if you were ever worried about having a team that was faster before, now you don't have to with the new Aizawa, which is crazy. I think that's absolutely crazy. And the main reason now that I think after playing a couple of these matches that you would want to get him to 130 is just to give him more HP so that he had more survivability and didn't die to that Yairozu attack. If he was level 130 and survived that, we would have cooked so hard, right? So let me know what you guys think of the new Steampunk Aizawa. Personally, I'll say it right now. I think he is the best steampunk character to release so far i think he's better than deku i think he's better than bakugo but let me know your guys thoughts down in the comments below and if you guys did enjoy the video please consider going down there hitting that like button hitting that subscribe button and thank you guys so much for watching peace